Hello, hello everyone, and uh, welcome back to our Knights of the Old Republic playthrough as I'm going back and forth with my camera for some reason. I don't know why I do the things I do sometimes. Healing. Alright, so last we left off, uh, we were about to go into the grove. We had explored this area pretty nicely, and uh, one of these entrances, exits, leads to the grove. Nope, not this one. The other one. Ooh, that nice sunset over there. Very pretty. Alright. Grove? Are you the grove? You are. Ooh, more cat hounds. We haven't seen any of these yet. Go, team, go! Ta uh, team. Oh. Team. Team. Yeah. Maybe we'll have to fix something. Huh? There we go. What? Now that must have hurt. I'm gonna run away oh. like a coward. Oh. I'll show you. It goes crazy. Uh, never mind, I didn't mean to talk to you, Zalbar. Oh, there's a guy in this bridge over here. That's interesting. Maybe he is the taint, but let's check out, see if there's anything else over here. Ooh, another exit? The Sandal Grounds. Hmm, I'll we'll have to check that out later. Oh, I figured out the name of these things. These are called Brith, and, um, but we're, he's, he's still named Billy in my heart. Hi, Billy. All right, are you the taint? Bullock? Achuta. Wonga kunbis dolpi kikuyana. Dong patugas bakdelia. I don't think he's the taint. Who are you? Runda di hotonga kun hunka bi. Wanna kun bez ching palamule tonking ba nunotek? Just wears his top lip weird. Chetu kun ne mule rabes. Mucha shak pa khat. Ki nono nama paole rachikun. Ta kum jus tak miki grabble mogo. Kachichu ita bodunga. Tolba bank wale oganda naru chuchut. Mogesha punga bola wana chikne. Ba mule slimo poda da nanga kumbist mule rabes. Jedo ba do wana nidi bobo. Tong na bungsha nununya. Tong patukash mak telea. Well, I kind of want to stare at this waterfall over here, but I suppose I can solve your mystery. Runda di hotonga kun hunka bi. Wana kun bez ching pala mule tonking ba nunotek. Tuk ning chetu kun ne mule rabes. Ka chi kun ita haodonga. Ye king kun o ba mule rachi kun. Pretty waterfall, I love it. Svimo po do na rundi haodonga ku hunka be. Tong hai tuam jiji jom lumpa. Nita po e tikito. Dolpa da bongwa leo gando nan chuchut. Kachi chu ita dundonga. You malita kuto tun. Chila mulane ni du bobo. Wonga kumbis jang ba mulera. Runda di hotonga kun hunka bi. Wana kun bez ching pala mule tonking ba nunotek. Tuk ning chetu kun ne mulera bez. Ka chi kun ita haodonga, yi king kun o ba mule ra chi kun. Slimo po do na rundi haodonga ku hunka be. Runda di haodonga kun hunka bi. Wana kun bez ching pala mule tonking ba nunotek. Tuk ning chetu kun ne mule ra bez. Ka chi kun ita haodonga, yi king kun o ba mule ra chi kun. Slimo po do na rundi haodonga ku hunka be. Runda di haodonga kun hunka bi. 
Wanna kun bez ching palamule tonking ba nunotek? Tuk nin chatukun ne mule rabes. Ka chikun ita haldonga. Ye king kuno ba mule ra chikun. Slimo po dona rundi haldonga ku hunkabe. Hmm, is there anything else I should know? Runda di haldonga kun hunkabe. Wanna kun bez ching palamule tonking ba nunotek? Tuk nin chatukun ne mule rabes. Muchishak pa khat. So apparently Jedi's are like the jack of all trades. They're like the judge, the warriors, the sorcerers. We just do everything. But um, apparently this guy seems to already know what's going on. He's just testing us. But hopefully we can figure it out. So, uh, you. Another Jedi, huh? Helping that Twi'lek investigate, no doubt. He seems stumped. Uh, I'm Rickard Lusoff. Maybe you can figure this out and let me get out of here. He didn't really seem stumped to me. In fact, he seemed like he had a pretty good grasp of this. But, you know, that's your opinion. So tell me what happened. Well, I was out hunting Eriaz when I spotted one over here by the bridge. I pull out my rifle and aim at it. I couldn't see it that well, mind you, because the damn sun was in my eyes. So I shoot it and it drops. I walk over here and find Handon standing over Calder's body. So why don't you get this whole farce over with and send that whiner hand into the prison he belongs in? Alright, well, are, am I the only one who sees a problem with the story? I mean, they said it was overcast when so, we showed up. You... Um, we're gonna ask about his limping. Well, I kind of sprained my ankle running through the bush before I found the body, but it's nothing that serious. Oh, alright, that's all for right. me. Okay, so we already found a problem with his story, and his name is Ricard, so we'll have to remember that. Okay, let's go talk to Handon. Ah, greetings. You must be assisting Master Baluk in his investigation. I'm Handon Gould. Perhaps you've heard of me? Uh, no. Well, I presume <laughs> you wish to hear my story, then. I shall tell you, of course, but there's not much to it. I'm sure that you'll agree that Rickard is quite obviously guilty of murder. You see, I was out here running earlier today. Yes, running. I do that a lot. Can't stand speeders, never use them. Keeps me in shape, too, you know. Anyway, I was out running on the other side of that bridge there, when all of a sudden I heard a shot coming from over here. I ran over and found this man, Calder, lying on the ground, dead. Hmm. Go on. And I saw Rickard come skulking out of the shadows of the rocks south of the river, and I knew something was wrong. I hit my emergency button and called the Enclave right away. Well, there. That's my story. Now, please hurry this up and arrest Rickard so I can get on with my day. Really? You just want to get on with your day? I mean, like, what is there to do after a murder like How that? How can I be a further... Like, what do you have that's so important? Whatever. You're holding your side. Are you injured? In injured? No, of course not. Why would I have been? Fit as a bantha. <laughs> that's, I run. I don't know if I mentioned that. Wow, that wasn't a suspicious answer at all. Okay, of that's all. Of course. But I don't see any other major problems with the story, so let's go tell, uh, about Rickard and his uh, son in his eyes. I want to discuss the murder. Wanna kun bez ching palamule tonking ba nunotek? Tuk nin chatukun ne mule rabes. ドルバンクワレオガンダナルチュチュットモゲシャポンカボラワナチキネバムレスリモポダダナンガコンビストモレラベスチェドバドワナニディボボトンナボンシャヌヌニャトンパトカシマテレアトンハイトワンジジジョ
ni ta pua e tiki tō. Tōl pā da bongwale o gandonan chūchūt, kā chīchū i tā dūndonga. Yū malita kūtā o tūn. Chila mulane ni du bobo. Wonga kumbīs chang ba mulira. Tā kumjus tāk miki e grabal mogo. Kā chīchū i tā bodunga. Tōl pā bang wale o gandonan chūchūt. Mogi shā pūnga bola wana chikne. Ba mule slimo pūtadada nanga kumbist mule rabest. Ka chikun ita haudonga, ikin kuno ba mule ra chikun. Slimo pūtona rundi haudonga ku hunkabe. Mucho shak pa khat. Ki yinu no nama pa ole ra chikun. Okay, so it seems like we are doing well so far. Um, we haven't talked to this robot yet. Hello, information droid. Greetings, apprentice. You must be the one Master Baluk has enlisted to help him with this problem. I am an information retrieval droid. I can assist you by accessing the records of both the Jedi Enclave and the central government facilities here on Dantooine. If you have any need of my services, please do not hesitate to talk to me. I have already retrieved some information from the archives on Cold Anetic, Rickard Lusoff, and Handan Gould. I have also had time to examine the body of Mr. Netic. Is there any information you require? Hmm. What did you find out about the body? My preliminary analysis of the body indicates that he was killed approximately three hours ago by a single energy blast to the torso. Is there any other information you need? Hmm. What can you tell me about Kelder and Handen? The Southwood Speeder rental business has records that over the past several weeks, a speeder had been rented by Mr. Netic and Mr. Gould. Is there any other information you need? Hmm, tell me about Kelder and Rickard. According to the municipal authorities near the Garang spaceport, there had been news of violent drunken activity in a cantina attached to the port. Apparently, a Mr. R. Lusoff was making accusations at a Mr. C. Netic about cheating him in a business deal. Jedi Tuka was dispatched to the scene and restored order. Huh. Is there any other information you need? Well, that's very interesting. So they both had some kind of connection to each other. Uh, tell me about these planes. These planes are rife with wild animals, not all of them benign. The Iriars are mostly docile, but can easily be provoked to violence. Cathounds, on the other hand, are much more deadly. There have been over 35 catalogued attacks on settlers by cat hounds in the last two weeks. A general advisory was given out three days ago to carry a weapon at all times when on the plains. Small farms and holdings dot the plains and can provide safe refuge for those in need. Is there any other information you need? Hmm. I will have more questions later. Very well. I will be here to assist you. All right, so that told us some things. Let's go talk to Rickard again. Hello, Rickard. So, what do you want to know? Hmm. Did you know the victim? Yeah, I knew him. Hell, we've known each other for a good long time. Doesn't mean I really have to have liked the slime ball. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't be so hard on him. Especially now that he's dead. We actually got along pretty well most of the time. We just had our differences. We were actually business partners. We were involved in some orbit-to-ground transport operations for Aerotech. Can I leave now? I should probably be the one to give the news to his wife. Hmm. You thought Calder was cheating you. Now, I don't love Calder, but we go back a long way. We run a suborbital shipping and transport company out of Garang Spaceport. We've been partners in that business for well over 20 years, and we've been doing just fine the way we are. Yeah, but there was a fight reported, so you can't deny there was bad blood between you. Right. Right. Okay. Well, that didn't tell us too much. Let's talk to Handen. Er, yeah, Handen. How can I be of further assistance? Hmm. Why would someone want to kill him? Um, well, you see, Calder was involved in some pretty sordid business from time to time. More often than not, I've heard. Disreputable business practices, even more disreputable clients. I've even heard he had dealings with a hut. A hut here on Dantooine. Now, I bet you're wondering if I had any reasons to kill the man, but I tell you, I hardly knew him. I saw him once or twice, yes, and I've heard some pretty unkind things about him, but certainly nothing that would make me want to kill him. Hmm. You knew Kelder better than you admit. You rented a speeder with him. But I, I realize this must seem like a motive to you, but I assure you it isn't. I dislike Calder, true. I would punch his face in, given the opportunity, but I would not kill him. Uh, punch his face in? 
Why? My wife was cheating on me with him. They slept in my own bed while I was in the next room. But as much as I may hate him for that, I could not kill him. It may have been my own fault for driving my wife away. I must try not to take the law into my own hands. I was just out running, trying to clear my head for the divorce proceedings, not stalking him to kill him. Running is not a crime. All right, that's all for now. Of course, of course. Listen, if you need anything, I shall be glad to assist. So, this guy who's killed seems like kind of a... not a nice guy, because he was cheating on the wife. Oh, look, it's the body. Yep. Um, his wife, but... You know, his wife doesn't sound like she's so innocent and they're getting a divorce, so... Yeah. Alright, let's, uh, let's talk to this guy again. Baluk. Baluk? I don't see very many orange orange guys like this. Orange Twi'leks. I like them. Alright, I want to con I want to discuss the murder. Please. Where are you, buddy? あ、ちこんいたほどんがいきんこのばもれらちこんスリムポドなるんでほどんがこうほんかべるんだでほどんがこんはんかびわなこんべしちんばらもれとんきんばのの is lying well, he admitted it, that's how I know that. He knew his wife was cheating on him. So he wants us to investigate the blaster. We get the idea. Let's talk to the droid. Is there any other? Hmm. Tell me about the weapon you found at the scene. We cannot get any more specific analysis from that sample other than the fact it did not belong to Calder. Is there any other information you need? Hmm. Nope. Very well. I feel like I'm in a CSI episode. Dun dun. I need a. I have a Wookiee partner. Kendris, you should be saying more. I need like a quick witted partner to make snide comments. Come on, Kendris. Do it. So, what do you want to know? What about the weapon found by the body? That blaster? Never seen it before. Calder himself had a preference for Ichani weaponry. He had this one really nice light blaster rifle that he always used. Always wished I could get myself a rifle like the one he had. Ichanis make delicate weapons with too little firepower. Lightweight stuff, if you ask me. That Yay, Candorous! <laughs> Calder only had the one rifle, too. So he either must have borrowed that, or it's someone else's. I'm just excited because after I made that big fuss, I was like, Candorous, say something in this. He like actually said something. It wasn't planned, actually, so I was really excited. All right, that's all for now. Right. Yes. You will be the greatest partner ever, Candorous. All right, handed. How can I be further assistance? Uh, what do you know about the weapon found by the body? That blaster was stolen from my house last week. I never what? knew what happened to it. I hardly have enough money to afford a single blaster, let alone another. I can't tell you how important it is to have a weapon on hand with all these ravenous cath hounds around. Even an Eries can take a man down if it gets in the mood. Every settler has a weapon. It's our most prized possession. I would most appreciate it if I could have that back after you determine that Rickard is the killer. How can I be of further assistance? All right, so let me get this straight, right? So this guy, the guy who's dead. Of course. Of course. Was cheating on, or was cheating, blah, blah, blah. The guy, <laughs> I'm sorry. Let me get this straight handed. The guy who's dead was sleeping with your wife and was shot with your weapon, and you expect me to believe you had nothing to do with it. Okay. Is there any other information you need? Is there a report of Handon's blaster being stolen? I am sorry, but I seem to be failing you. 
I have searched and searched, but I cannot seem to come up with anything at all. I thought to find the record of the missing weapon report Mr. Gould filed with the authorities, but there does not seem to be one. Is there any? Yep, that doesn't seem suspicious well. at I will all. Be here. All right, let's go. Let's go tell uh, Pumpkinhead over here. Ah, Pakupa Chekupa, Gino Mulera Kingpaja Kislimo Podwama. I want to discuss the murder. Ah. Uh. Uh, the blaster is Handon's. He lied about it being stolen. Runda di hotonga kun hunka bi. Wana kun bez ching palamule tonking ba nunotak. Tuk nin chatukun ne mule rabes. Ka chikun ita hotonga. Iking kuno ba mule ra chikun. Slim muchusha. Okay, let's inquire the droid about the blood sample. Is there any other information? Tell me about the blood sample. I have just received back an analysis of a sample of the blood found on the weapon. It had been sent back to the Enclave just before you arrived. The blood on the weapon is definitely not called us. Unfortunately, there was a bacterial contaminant in the sample that had been taken back to the laboratory, and it had become degraded. We hmm. cannot get any more specific analysis from that sample other than the fact it did not belong to Calder. Is there any other information you need? Interesting. So there must be someone, one of these other there guys' you know. blood. Well, there's the guy who's limping, and then there's a the guy who's holding his side. The guy who's holding his side is going to be more likely to be bleeding. How can I be a further? Hmm. Oh, you can't ask him more about that. I guess we're going to have to go tell uh, Pumpkinhead. Baluk! Baluk. Uh. Want to discuss the murder. Tong abog sha umni nong? Well, you know what they say about assumptions. It didn't belong to the victim. Well, you know what they say about assumptions. It didn't belong to the victim. It didn't belong to the victim. Alright, so it could be Rickards because he was limping, but he would, didn't get all defensive. And uh, you're not likely to be bleeding if he like sprained an ankle or something. So we're going to go with it. it's Handon's blood. Uh, well, I just explained myself, but whatever. Uh, he's clutching his side. Hey, 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 what are you doing? Okay, so, but here's the thing. We already caught Rickard in a lie, saying that the sun was in his eyes, when it clearly was cloudy. So, no, I think they are both guilty. What is what is what is Zalbar doing? Is he trying to stab me? My God! You, no, don't stab me! I have a life debt. Um. Well, we do know that Rickard had problems with with uh with Calder because uh you know due to the argument we know that they had when it came to his business. Um, it would be funny to say he was also having an affair with his wife. No. Uh, Rickard thought Kelder was cheating him in business. Mulerabes. <laughs> 
Tog nin cha tu kunne mulerabes. Tong haid wam jiji jumblumpa. Nita poe tikito. Dolpa da bongwaleo gandona chuchut. Kachi chu ita dundonga. Yumalita kuto tun. Chila mulane nin du bobo. Wonga kumbis chang ba mulera. Damn you. Damn both of you. Ta kum justach miki grabble mogo. Kachichu ita bodunga. Tolba bank, waleo ganda naru chuchut. Mogesha punga bola wana chikne. Ba mule slimo podadada nanga kumbist mule rabes. Kachikun ita hodunga. Ikinkuno ba mule rachikun. Slimo podona rundi hodunga ku hunkabe. Tong hai tuam jiji jum lumpa. Nita poe tikito. Dolpa da bongwaleo gandona chuchut. Kachi chu ita dundonga. You malita kuto tun. Thank you. Chila mulane nindu bobo. Wonga kumbis chang ba mulera. Achuta. Wonga kumbis dolpi kikuyana. Tong patugas makdelea. We can be the Scooby crew. Like, Zalbar, you can be Scooby. Uh, Candris, you can be Fred. Um, I'll be Thelma because I don't like that other chick. I can't even remember her name. <laughs> Pumpkinhead will be. Uh, I don't know. Thelma? No, I'm Thelma. I don't know. Anyway. We solved that like a boss. And uh, we still haven't found what's taming the grove. Now that though. must have hurt. Now that must have oh, hurt. Oh, Daphne's that one girl's name. And then. Wow, I can't remember. Oh, Shaggy. Who's gonna be Shaggy? <laughs> Pumpkinhead can be Shaggy. <laughs> no, he's too serious to be Shaggy. Mm. Best look can be Daphne. Kill them all! Alright, where is this grove we've been hearing so much about? 